Our top focus on, on right now, Israel this morning completed what it calls a retaliatory attack on Iran. The Israeli military has said that it has concluded the mission conducting targeted strikes on military targets in Iran. Multiple explosions were heard over the three and a half hours in the Iranian capital and at the nearby military bases as well. I can now confirm that we have concluded the Israeli response to Iran's attack against Israel. We conducted targeted and precise strikes on military targets in Iran, thwarting immediate threats to the state of Israel. At least six loud explosions were heard on the outskirts of the Iranian capital Tehran early in the wee hours of this morning. Explosions were also heard in the nearby city of Karaj. Shortly after, a second wave of airstrikes was reported. Blasts were heard in the city of Shiraz. Iran's military has confirmed that the strikes targeted military bases in Elam, Khuzestan and Tehran provinces and caused limited damage, that's according to Iran. Explosions were also reported in Syrian capital Damascus. Media reports said Syrian air defenses intercepted missiles launched by Israel from the direction of the Israeli-occupied Syrian Golan Heights and the Lebanese territories. Sources in Iran say that the country is now preparing to give a proportional reaction to Israeli aggression. But Israel has warned Iran against fresh action. The Israeli military has said that the strikes have given it more freedom to operate in skies over Iran. The IDF added that it has struck Iran's missile manufacturing facilities and also surface to air missile arrays as well. Meanwhile, no fire or explosions had been reported at a main oil refinery near the capital. Israel strikes were limited to military targets and did not include nuclear or oil installations. Earlier, Israeli military spokesperson Daniel Hagari had released a video statement confirming the strikes on Iran. He said that Iran and its proxies in the region have been attacking Israel since October 7th on seven fronts, including direct attacks from Iranian soil, and that Israel's defensive and offensive capabilities are fully mobilized. Hagari added that like every other sovereign nation in the world, Israel has the right and the duty to respond. Washington has also called the targeted strikes in Iran an exercise of self-defense. U.S. National Security Spokesperson Sean Sevich said that the attack was a response to Iran's ballistic missile attack against Israel on October 1st. In fact, the White House was notified in advance before Israel launching the attack on Iran. However, the U.S. has stressed that it was not involved in the Israeli strikes. And well, for more on this, we now have with us Dr. Zore Karazami. She's joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, she is a professor in American Studies Department at the University of Tehran. Welcome to Vyond. Now, um, Dr. Zora, Israel has said that it has completed the retaliatory strikes on Iran. According to reports now, Iran has said that the precision Israeli strikes will be met with proportional reaction. The obvious question at this point of time is what kind of retaliation can we expect from Iran as of now? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, Israel's claims on retaliating is false because uh, the two strikes Iran did already was both in retaliation and response to the act of regression that Israelis had done, one on the uh, consulate center in um, Damascus that destroyed an island and actually killed our diplomats. And the second one was in the response of the terror act of the actually killing and murdering uh, Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran. So this time I can say that a new aggression is done by Israelis, not, a, not an act of retaliation. The second is that um, I, I'm living in Tehran, you know, and in the just um, uh, early morning, I woke up with the with these uh, voices and actually sort of ex maybe it was an explosion or sort of air defense, for example, machines. 
Uh, but in the morning now I'm in the faculty and everything is running well as usual uh, in Iran. Everything is calm. And uh, officials said that they are investigating if it was the act of sabotage, like the terrorists, like the sabotages that Israelis always do, it can have one sort of response. And if it's the, uh, just uh, hitting with missiles, so it's very, um, uh, can, can be counted much more aggressive because after Iran-Iraq war, it would be the first time that a uh, foreign air force may enter again and actually pass the borders and hit Tehran. That is very uh, act that we cannot really ignore. And I think the response would be even harsher. I think anyway, Iran would respond. I'm not sure when, because it's very much depending on their strategies and the uh, military officials. But 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 my prediction is that it would be uh, the right to reply, and this 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 actual response would be uh, even harsher than the previous ones. Because as I said, it was not a retaliation, but an act of aggression. Right, and Iran has said that it will respond to the act of aggression by Israel. Uh, the statement coming out of Iran is that the strikes by Israel on Iran has been limited. And according to the Iranian officials, um, Israel has not achieved their goals. Uh, but I want to ask you that uh, where were Iran's defenses when Israel launched uh, uh, those strikes in the early hours of this morning? Um, how were Iran's multi-layered defense system um, functioning? Because uh, we did not see Iran perhaps intercepting those uh, missile attacks from Israel. I think that Israeli's propaganda is uh, much beyond what they did. And uh, about these technical details, I think it's much better to weigh the Iranian officials that are much more honest than Israelis, because Israelis media war already started. They try to um, magnify and uh, actually um, overestimate what they did. What I understand in my immediate environment in Tehran is that it's not that harsh, it's not that successful that uh, they tried to say. Uh, however, they said that it was the uh, defense uh, and actually the um, uh, military bases, but the military bases uh, should be something ex harsh explosions or something that has any visible consequences that we don't see such a thing here. But the Israeli and American media and the Western media corporations are trying to make a sort of propaganda after Israel uh, power in this sense that we don't believe after a year of having the experience of the lies and propaganda of this sort of media. All right. Do you think that the Israeli precision strikes on Iran will close out uh, the direct conflict between Iran and Israel at this point of time? I don't think so. Um, none of the countries, not Iran, not Israel, um, like to escalate to a direct and full-fledged war. Israel is not in the position to do so because it's well trapped, uh, trapped in um, southern Lebanon now. They could not even enter to Lebanon. That's a small country that doesn't have an army. Against Hezbollah, that is uh, just a uh, militia, actually. Uh, then you can imagine that how would be the confrontation with Iran with um full prepared military so i think israel is not in the position and iran has not uh no determination to do so um so i don't think it would be a direct and full-fledged war um dr zakim uh, iran has confirmed that uh, news just coming in iran has confirmed that the strikes by Israel on Iran's military bases were limited. You speak that Israel does not have the capabilities to thwart Iranian attacks. But on October 1st, when Iran attacked Israel, around 100 missiles were launched from Iran towards Israel. And most of them were intercepted by, by Israel's Iron Dome and uh, the, the Arrow air defense system there. And now Israel also has the third missile defense system given by the U.S. along with the F-16 uh, positioned in Israel. So um, at this point of time, how do you see um, Israel perhaps uh, thwarting any kind of Iranian attacks? Because it does look like that the military posturing in Israel has only beefed up. 
Yeah, even about the Iron Doom, about the Arab defense, but you know that it's not Israel, but you're talking about the United States a military system in the region. Uh, Israel is not in the position to even defend itself. Uh, it's very weak, very much damaged. Uh, but if, if you talk about the American military system, yes, it's advanced. It has lots of facilities. It already gave uh, billions of dollars. And uh, actually, this, this uh, uh, arm, arm staff to Israel. And all these uh, you know, war crimes um, and genocide that Israel has done in the region was very much um, the the blood is in, in hands of the on hands of the United States and they cannot clean it uh, historically. Uh, but about the capabilities, uh, even when Iran struck uh, in response to Hania terror in Tehran in uh, by the Assad of the second, um, lots of the hits were never reported. Uh, a lot of censorship is in, in Israel uh, that never lets the people know about the truth about the real casualties, about the real places hit. So um, it would be something more than it was reported by the Israeli, uh, actually, uh, reporters. Right. And in Iran, still, we're waiting for the technical and, and investigations to see what really happened and how we intercepted or not. Right, Dr. Karazmi, thank you so much for joining us and we're on with your insights. And as of now, uh, the Israeli cabinet and Netanyahu's office has said that they will assess the impact of the precision strikes on Iran. But thank you for joining us on the show with your insights. Thank you.